Tourist Tracker Nation, Martin Chuck here, and welcome to the Raven Golf Club in Phoenix, Arizona. You know, looking back on 2022, I'm always trying to learn things, and I got to thank a ton of you caring coaches out there around the country and around the world, and my team here at the Tourist Tracker Golf Academy. I'm always looking to learn stuff, and I had a neat epiphany giving a lesson to a hockey player recently. And I'm a hockey player, but the thing is, I play golf right handed. I don't, pl but I shoot a hockey puck left handed, so I didn't have the same challenge as all you hockey players out there. If you're a right handed shot in hockey and a right handed hitter in golf, there's a chance you have this issue. And it was interesting to learn this, de dealing with this player. So let me grab a, a right handed hockey stick and I'll explain. So my lefty stick, pretty easy for me to do my thing left-handed, to be honest, because it's opposite to golf for me. You know, to put a ball down and have some fun with it, you know, that's normal for me. The, a slap shot for me to put a, you know, a puck in front of me and take this motion to hammer a puck, you can see how much limited hip turn I have right here while I have this big retracted trail arm. Kind of a slap shot in hockey. I had a pretty good shot growing up playing junior hockey. But I played golf on the opposite hand, which I actually think was a bit of a benefit because I didn't have some of those things that trouble the hockey player who is a righty and plays righty or a lefty who plays lefty. Because here's what happened. I had this neat young man at the golf school. And he was a high level hockey player, junior hockey player. And his backswing with a slap shot was very much frozen hips no hip turn, a lot of trail arm back behind him during his backswing. And from the downline camera, you can see this look. And then it was interesting trying to work on his golf swing because we needed to free up the hip turn. Rather than the hockey style trail arm for a slap shot, we needed to have the trail arm more in front of him so that he could leverage the club better and have a reliable delivery of the club back down to the golf ball. So, you know, in 35 years of doing this, teaching this game, it's crazy that another Canadian hockey player was the thing that, you know, went, wow, okay. I learned a lot of little golden nuggets on how to better communicate to my students and inspire change through feels and discussion and storytelling and just technique. But it was interesting to watch this golfer develop and how their whole pattern was a pattern of frozen hips and a lot of trail arm retraction and yet we had to teach that golfer how to turn the hips how to get the arms more in front and of course there's training products for this we have the smart ball was effective we had a lot of neat things but i didn't really understand the root cause the root cause was his sport he played his whole life then he comes to a golf camp and i start messing with that development of power but i'm happy to say that he did great he started to understand it his main hockey days are behind him, and now he's got a love for golf. So developing that backswing in golf is a nice hip turn, chest turn fully, arms more in front of the player rather than retracted behind the player as though taking a slap shot. So just sharing that with you for any of you hockey players out there that are left-handed and golf left-handed or right-handed and golf right-handed, this might be an important lesson for you on developing that backswing and hitting a lot of really good shots. So Martin Chuck signing off from the Raven. Have a great day.